In Bayan Olgi, the most westerly province of Mongolia, the vast steppe rises and makes way for the majestic Altai Mountains. It is here where the borders of Mongolia, Russia, China, and Kazakhstan converge and where the Turkic people were born. The Altai Mountains is also the birthplace of the ancient art of falconry. Today, political borders divide the region, but the nomadic people that are comprised of Mongolians, Tuvans, and Kazakhs that reside here live as they always have in conjunction with the land and with nature. They live with what the land can yield, relying on their herds of goat, sheep, and yak to provide them sustenance in this harsh but beautiful landscape. The people of the Altai maintain a strong and connected relationship with nature, and it remains a large part of their cultural practice. The Soviets besieged cultures in the region during the late 19th and early 20th centuries. The Kazakhs, like many, were persecuted for practicing their cultural traditions. Many fled to the stronghold of the Altai Mountains and became the keepers of these traditional practices. One of the highest expressions of the culture is the ancient art of eagle hunting. In the Kazakh culture, eagle hunting knowledge and practice has been handed down from father to son over a thousand years. And the name for an eagle hunter is Berkuchi. Golden eagles are employed as they are the largest and most powerful of the raptors. With a wingspan of up to eight feet, these formidable predators can weigh up to five kilograms. It is the female golden eagle that is utilized as they are larger and more aggressive than their male counterparts. The eagles are taken from the nest just before they are ready to fly and are then tethered outside their Berkuchi's felt home called a gare. The eagle is fed ground squirrel and marmot which the eagle hunter's children trap. Over time the Berkuchi will gain the trust of the eagle and then years of training can begin. A strong and intimate relationship is formed between the eagle and her master over a period of typically eight years prior to her return to the wild. When winter arrives, the eagle will be ready for hunting and the hunting duo will head out on horseback in search of their quarry. The eagle will remain hooded until game is spotted and then the hood is removed and the eagle will take flight. Once a kill has been made, the Berkuchi will ride and meet his eagle, offer her some prepared meat from his side pouch, and only then will she surrender her prey. The most coveted prize is the Corsac Fox. Its beautiful, warm fur is made into hats and other esteemed clothing items. The pelts are sought after in Asian markets and cities, but there is no real money in it for the Berkuchi. They hunt as part of their cultural strength and for honor. It is because of that strength and honor that the sport and art of eagle hunting has endured and the relationship between man and eagle survives.